Hey guys, Shaber1000 here doing a little vlogging today. We're set up with some of our stuff. <laughs> it's not everything because we got I got tools that would take up half that yard there. Uh, this uh, I sold a bunch of deep. <laughs> My menu came up for some reason. Uh, but I said it was still recording. So I sold I sold out my DVDs. There's this guy. The first time I ever sold DVDs, he bought over a hundred. And every time he comes, he spends twelve, fifteen dollars on DVDs. So I made a couple hundred off him. And I had I had several left, several DVDs, probably fifty DVDs left. I said, "Look, you want them all?" Because I had already sold sold some to him for five. I said, you want the rest of them? You can have it for 10 So, I sold three knives. Made $7. So, we went fishing yesterday. Tried out our out our new reels. Monkey really likes hers. I like hers. It casts nice. It's quiet. It spins nice. I didn't catch anything. I was getting a lot of hits. And then these drunk guys, they always come down there and they, they stand up above the dock up in the parking area and they'll talk and they talk really fucking loud. So, but right before they got there, monkey caught. Now, I don't know if it was a mud fin or a mud fish, but it had teeth. I'll throw that clip in right now. Okay, guys, monkey's got a fish on here. Oh, oh I got a fish! <laughs> on her new re Oh, Holy look at that catfish. Oh, my God! Bring him up here. Oh! Wait, that's not a catfish, is it? So, she outfished me yesterday. Damn it. <laughs> the first time an adult has ever outfished me. My daughter outfished me a couple times when she was little. Uh, she's probably five. But as far as real fishing and an adult, she's the first one to ever outfish me. So that's cool. But I think probably weighed eight or nine pounds. Uh, but I had teeth so I couldn't lip him. So we got she's got to dig through the shed and get her net out for when we're fishing off of a dock or something or in the boat and we get a big fish you know sometimes you just can't reach in and grab them so that's what we're doing today i think we're going to take the boat out here in a little bit well not a little bit here in a few hours this afternoon later this afternoon i think she had mentioned taking the boat out so we'll probably do that so, made a few bucks today. Um, always got something for sale, man, you know. <laughs> Monkey's like, you, what, you don't want to sell them DVDs anymore? I, said, well, I mean, you know, he's those DVDs, I, I think I had $20 in them. So, they have <laughs> more than well paid for themselves. So, that guy, like I said, he always buys something. So, I, I just cut him a deal, you know. We still got some more and then she goes in and gets another box i was like are you kidding me she says yeah we got more so i mean we've got these are blue right here these are sets uh we got some games there i could play that on the pc if i had a controller but i don't have a controller so or do i I don't know maybe I do I'm not sure I can't remember now but anyhow so that's what we're doing got my knives set up here hey, if you guys ever get a chance to pick one of these up go for it I'm thinking about keeping it it's a decent knife sharpener like if you got a super duper dull knife it'll sharpen it a little bit but if you got a knife that's just going dull and you keep that in your in your drawer or whatever your kitchen drawer or in your toolbox and just every so often you scrape your knife across there uh, seems to work fine it'll keep it sharp so but yeah there's all my knives there's our stuff got that tv for sale i'm not sure what size it is it's an element it's not a smart tv it's an older one but it still works flawlessly but we got enough tvs ours is over there in the trash she decided we're not going to put any leds in it so because it's going to cost me 50 bucks to fix it 
and that's probably what I would get out of it. So, the heck with that. Uh, I'm not going to put $50 in something and my time to fix it just to get the 50 out of it. So, yeah, that's the one that the LED, LEDs went out. This don't have a stand, but it does have the wall mount. It's like a $35 wall mount, so, and the remote. So, we got 50 bucks on it. I think we, if somebody gave us 45, they can have it. That's her mom's old TV. There's one, when and if we get her room built, um, we'll just get her a new one because they're so cheap. Because she don't need a smart TV or anything like that. She just needs a TV. And so, um, which she told Monkey, she said, if you want to get your kitchen done, get it done. I don't care. I'll pay for it. So we're going to look into finishing the kitchen. Once the kitchen's done, then the house will be done. It'll be 99% complete except for painting the garage, the inside of the garage. She wants to repaint the outside. Um, it used to have shutters on it, but there's a couple missing, and I would like to put shutters up there again, but we'll just have to see. That's later, later. But anyway, I gotta get up there with the blower and blow that stuff off there, so there's is. monkey. The is, Alright guys. You know, so anyway, yeah, she outfished me. You saw the clip. Nice fish and proud of her. And she was yeah. getting all kinds of hits until them guys yeah. come down and start that's talking cool. real loud. And I mean I you know, just annoying. So anyway, yep, that's what we're doing. Okay guys, so I guess that's kind of my vlog. I'll talk to you for a minute though. Um, I am editing a video right now while it's processing, it's saving. Uh, I put a new converter box in this thing. We're done with this for the day. I guess she didn't want to go boating, so I put the tarp on it. Uh, so I guess her mom's wanting to come out tomorrow and uh, sell some stuff so we just left the tables up all the stuff's in the house but anyway I put the boat cover on on the boat so I think I might start the truck up tomorrow I don't know we'll see uh, had some people interested <laughs> excuse me in the Corvette somebody asked me about the golf cart golf carts not for sale yet um, still looking for a gas gasoline engine to put on it um, yeah I need to get so that way I can take it farther you know because I can't I can't see it like monkey said the other day why don't we just put new batteries in it because they're 100 bucks a piece there's eight of them plus tax they're 110 bucks 120 whatever it's a thousand dollars you know no matter how fast you say it to put batteries in a thousand dollar golf cart and we got to charge them make sure they're charged and you can only go so far you know and they're them batteries are only going to last so long so that's why i like the gas ones that way I just make sure I got a full tank of gas and a can of gas with me and I can go anywhere I want on the thing, you know? And, uh, so, that's up in the air. I don't think I'm going to buy batteries for it. It's just not worth it, you know? Like I said, I put $1,000 into a $1,200 golf cart and then somebody's going to G you down anyhow, you know? Because people don't want to pay for nothing. I mean, I like to get things as cheap as I can too. But man, you know, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, put twelve hundred dollars on it, they want to give you a thousand. Well, now you now you have no profit. You know what I mean? You just put a thousand in it, new batteries. They think, well, all right, yeah. You know, I mean, I have issues like that with people every so often. Yeah, they would want to give me a. Th will you take a thousand? I'll take a thousand for the batteries. I mean, and then they get mad at you. It's like, well, you're lowballing me, you fucking idiot. You know, I mean, it's like when I had the uh, the Saturn up for sale. 
Will you sell the wheels and tires off of it? Do you have anything I can put back on it? No? Yeah, yeah, I'll sell you the wheels and tires. You know, 500 bucks and I'll throw the car in for free. You know, I mean, well, you don't have to be a smart ass. I said, well, you don't have to be a dumbass. I mean, you know, the car's for sale. It's not I'm parting this car out. The car was for sale, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to sell the wheels and tires off of it to you for 50 bucks, and then now I'm sitting there still with a car with no wheels and tires trying to sell it. And then I got to drop it down, you know, half price because why? Because you wanted wheels and tires. I mean, some people just don't use their head. I mean, are they really that stupid or do they think I'm that stupid to go, oh, yeah, sure, I will. I'll set it up on blocks and then still sell the car. Because they even said that, well, you can still sell the car. No, I can't, <laughs> you know. Nobody wants to buy a car sitting on blocks with no wheels and tires. But, you know, they can't even tow it home. You know, they can't even put it on a wrecker. I mean, before they even even got it, they'd have to buy four wheels and tires. I'm like, no, I ain't doing it. I'm not stupid, you know? And I know that, that'd be the thing about that. $1,200 for the golf cart. Will you take a 1000 Look, I just told you I put a $1,000 worth of batteries in it. Yeah, I'll sell you the batteries, and then they would get mad. Well, you don't have to be a smart ass. Well, what the hell, you know? It's like you're buying the new batteries. I'm just giving you the golf cart, eh? No, I ain't doing that, you know. So, you know, it's like that thing, fifteen hundred bucks. It needs some work. It needs a battery. It needs a window regulator put in it, which we have. It just needs put in. You know, it's got a couple hundred thousand miles on it, but it's got a fifth wheel. It's got the regular hitch. It's got trailer light wiring, and you know, like I said, power windows. Air conditioner works fine. You put a battery in it, you can start it and go. I got fifteen hundred on it. Would you take a thousand? Are you out of your damn mind? You know? No, I'm not gonna take a thousand. Hell there's you know, I could get five hundred dollars out of that hitch. That's an eighteen hundred dollar hitch in the back of that or the not the hitch but the fifth wheel. And I'm like, man, because I know what they cost because I put hundreds of them in where I worked at, so no, I mean, I can't, you know, we sold them all day long for 500 bucks used. We couldn't keep them used because people want to come in, want used ones. And we couldn't keep them because they just, as soon as we get one in, they're out the door. So I'd get $500 just out of that damn thing there, you know. Well, you can keep the, look, I'm not doing all that. I'm not pulling that out and unbolting it and do all that for you because you want it cheaper, you know. Because I tell them, hell, that's $500 fifth wheel in the back of that truck and they're like okay well you keep the fifth wheel and i'll give you a thousand dollars for the truck look you know what it's not your truck you're not making the decisions i'm not going to pull that fifth wheel out of there you know just so you can save 500 bucks now i gotta try to sell a fifth wheel ain't doing it ain't gonna do it you know if they can't give me 1500 for it they can sit there it's not eating anything it don't cost a dime to have that truck sitting there. So, you know, I'm not gonna let them let them screw her mom like that. I just ain't gonna just ain't gonna do it. I mean, they're gonna screw around. I'll put two thousand on it, and it'll probably sell. Or I'll come down to the fifteen that I won. No, actually, then I'll come down to eighteen hundred. They'll say, "Oh, didn't you have it up for sale for fifteen? Yes, I did. <laughs> so, I mean, a friend of mine sold a Mustang like that. This is a high dollar Mustang race car. It was street legal, but barely street legal. The only thing that made it street legal was the doors weren't welded shut and the slicks. We had two sets of slicks for it. The racing slicks and then the street legal slicks, which just had one groove around the center of each tire. That made it street legal. And, um, you know, he had it up for sale for I don't know, like twenty thousand dollars or something. This was well worth it. It sat there, sat there. He had a lot of tire kickers. He wanted people, people just come by to take it for a ride. And he's like, no, if, you know, you show me some money and we'll go for a ride in it. You know, I mean, we're, we wasn't talking about just, you know, a little Mustang with a five O in it. I mean, we're talking. It was an easy thirty thousand dollar car. Easy. That thing was quick. That thing would stand up in the air anytime you wanted it to. That thing would run 9.9 .9 in a quarter mile. 9.9 .9 seconds in a quarter mile. 
that's getting it. <laughs> it was set up for nitrous and we never used the nitrous on it. <clears throat> but we did run it a couple times and that thing was quick. Full roll cage, it was ready. He had it for sale for twenty thousand dollars for a long time. Like I said, then people would you take fifteen grand for it? And this one guy, man. I thought my buddy was gonna lay him out. He says, Well, I got five thousand now. I can give you a thousand dollars a month and uh what the f are you serious? <laughs> Fifteen months you want to pay this car off. Well you can leave it set here, Carter's like, get the fuck out of here, man, you know? So he says, I'm tired of it. So I went down there one day. Seen twenty-five thousand dollars on it. He said, I raised it to twenty-five thousand. And it wasn't a week somebody came by and bought it. And they asked him, they said, well, you had this up for $20,000, did not you? He said, yeah, I did. And they said, well, what would you do to it? Why would you raise the price? He said, I raised the price because nobody was buying it. And the guy goes, fair enough. I'll be right back. Take the sign down. We took the sign down. By the time we got the sign down, the guy came back with cash money. Not a check. Cash money. $20,000 in $100. $25,000 in $100 bills. And we, I've sold stuff like that before. It didn't want to sell. I raised the price. <laughs> and it sold. That's what I'll do to that. I'll start telling people two grand. And like I said, if they don't, you know, if people think that a truck that needs a little work ain't worth $1,500, well, you know, they're wanting to give you guys, you know, they're wanting you guys to give them something. And I don't play games like that, you know. I just don't do it. I hate Fords, but you know, it is the Eddie Bauer edition. We're in Florida, the air works fine. It does need a little work, like I said, you know, I mean, but put a battery in it, you can start it up and go. And, you know, it's got a new alternator, new belt on it. Uh, you know, so I, you know, if it ain't worth $1,500 just for somebody to pull their boat around, but we're down here in Florida, there's a lot of boats, well then, it ain't worth a dime. I'm not coming down on the price on it. I just, you know, ain't no way. I'll give you, you know, what you'll do is you'll get back in your vehicle and leave because I, you know, and I'll tell them straight up, $1,500, non negotiable. You know, if the truck ain't worth $15, don't even look at it. If you ain't got the money, don't even look at it. Don't get, you know, don't waste my time of dragging a battery over there and starting it for you and all this and you taking it for a drive and coming back and trying to pick it apart. I ain't going to do that. You know, it, it ain't worth my time, you know. So. You know, I hate to be a hardcore asshole like that, but I'm not the asshole. That's what I want for it, and it's well worth it. I mean, um, I, I did run that through um, Kelly Blue Book with over 200,000 miles in fair condition, which is that truck, without the fifth wheel, without the tow package. They're going for $2,500 over 200,000 miles so like I said with the fifth wheel and the tow package and it's fair condition you know like I said I, I you know I know what things are worth I do my homework you know I didn't just pick a number out of the air and throw it on there you know I know what the trucks worth <laughs> and that's just you know <laughs> it is extended cab so but yeah I mean you know same time we're not trying to get rich off of it we know people don't have much money but damn you know i'm trying to give somebody a good deal and then they they want to walk on you and think you're stupid and go huh yeah i'll scream on it nope not me wow i should have zoomed in on that airplane painted all green private plane so anyway had a paranormal experience so i was looking for that little handheld tripod earlier right and I put it in here on the table I'll show you right where I put it too so I put it in here on the table making some hot wings it was right here okay I set the truck put this one right here as a matter of fact I set the tripod down here and I had a memory card and I stuck a memory card right there and I went in the garage to get something, and I come back out. This was gone, the memory card was gone. Was, so Monkey's helped me look for it. We don't know where it is. So she sets her laptop down here, and I found the memory card right here behind the laptop. The memory card was right there where I had it. 
So I'm thinking, well, it's small. Maybe we overlooked it. So I still couldn't find this. And I looked for a good 20 minutes for this thing. So finally, I come back in and look again. And that thing was sitting right there. There's no way I could miss that. You know, she sat her laptop down here. There's no way I could miss that. So that's weird. So anyway, guys. So that's my day. Just a, just a vlog uh, shooting the crap day with you. Um, so anyway, like I said, I'm getting ready to upload a video. You'll probably see before this if you follow my channel. Uh, putting the converter box on the truck. Real simple, real easy to do. Uh, it's kind of like a how-to. It's pretty self-explanatory if you know anything about wiring. You'll have it done in five minutes. But So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000's channel. I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys soon. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.